Hello everybody, I'm here today doing a review on the Yes Welder YWM160. This is not the unit that only does stick and take. This one actually does have a, a wire gun and it's able to do the flux or solid core. It is really nice. Has kind of the uh, first wrist kind of look to it. It comes with a few things. First off, one of the things I kind of had a little bit of an issue, not really an issue, is the hose. This end fits directly to the machine, and that one normally should go to a regulator, but. Uh, yeah, that's nowhere close to fitting, but that can be fixed. All I'm going to do is snip off one of these ends, use a barb fitting and a clamp. That problem will be solved. It also comes with a, it's a flux core wheel, and it's a 0.8 and a 0.9. It comes with a 0.8, 0.9. Uh, feed heads it actually does come with a weld settings chart sticker which I will be putting on the inside of this once I start getting it all set up and it actually has all of the other stuff it can do also in the box was a 110 to 220 adapter if you want to use it. I was looking on the chart and it actually says that you can actually go all the way up to 93 amps on the 110 and run 100% almost. One of the things that is not the greatest is the ground clamp. It's one of those things that you know, everybody has said that about these. It's the small dims, but that, that'll be changed quickly. It also comes with your stick electrode, it's actually only got like one really exposed side and it's a small gems. But like I said, those are things that are easily and cheaply yeah, replaced. Comes wired as a 220. Comes with a the mid gun. It does not detach. But, this thing does have a very nice case on the side of it. Good internals, can actually run up to the 10 pound spools. But I'm going to just be testing it with some 2 pounders. But overall, it's a uh, very nice machine. Like I said, the only thing that wasn't really normal was that gasoline but that's a simple fix if you're in, in this kind of career you kind of got to be able to change things up but uh, I'll be doing a review later when I get it all powered up and see how it throws down some welds